We're here in Oshkosh, and it's a little bit of rain today, so we came inside the buildings to do some more coverage of stuff for light kits and light sport. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm talking with Ash from Guardian Avionics. And I, I'm looking over your shoulder here a little bit, and the camera maybe will zoom in on it, but you have got just about every product Apple sells here, it looks like. And I love that they are just this flush mount right on the panel. It's a really nice execution. That invites a couple of questions, though, that I want you to answer for me. Okay. So you're making the mounts? You're not using somebody else's mounts? These are yours. I mean, These I are... see it says your name on them, so <laughs> I guess that's implied. But yes, 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 anyway, yes, that, yes. That's very light. Yes. Feels quite sturdy to me. Yes. And so when somebody is creating their panel, you have some templates for them or something so they know how to... Uh, do the panel cut out to make that work because it looks very slick up there so thank you yes so so these do have the cutouts right here and all of them are on our website with the uh, uh, what do you call it DXF files so if they want to get it to a laser cut or something they can do it very easily. oh I see so you'll supply stuff so they could take it to one of these guys to do panels for you yeah they okay, do a laser beautiful. cutting or they can do it themselves uh, so each one of them have a, a, an Apple lightning cable that goes in here and you can also put our special audio cable in here also. Oh, okay, okay. So you can here. have the sound come into your headset? Yes. Oh, very oh, yeah. slick. Yes. I didn't and, know and, that part. Yeah, so. yeah, and uh, back and forth. And I will talk a little bit about our audio cable also, if you like. So, and then this has got an air scoop on it. So that, Yeah, uh, so let me look at this here from this side. This is the, sort of the pilot's view of it, if you yeah. will. And you've got this. Uh, your other uh, gentleman here told me this is air coming in. Yes. This is air going out. Yes. And these, I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's some kind of little, little channels here, like it, the phone doesn't fit flat against the back of it. There's that room for air to move. Is that yes. it? Yes. Yes. Okay. So so that we. Because uh, these things will get kind of warm. Yes. Especially with and, continuous uh, with charging. Continuous charging and continuous flying, and with the full screens, everybody going. Yeah, and in a hot panel out. out in the sun, a lot of times that's yes. the way it is. So. Yes. So 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 anyway, so we make it for the iPhone six. 6 Plus, iPad Air, iPad Mini, and the big boy, the iPad uh, The new one Pro. they just came out the with. Pro, yes. Okay, and then, you know, you got to have power to them. So I want to so, look at that clamping arrangement yeah. down there. So, so let me explain a little bit on the power. So I'll give you a good example is on this uh, iPad Mini, uh, uh, on this iPad Oh, Mini okay, here. here. I'm beginning to see now. So what it is is I'll give you a little background here. So we have a couple of different units. We have the iPad Mini uh, power supplies. So I'll talk a little bit about the power supply, then I'll come over here. So we have the power supply in three different formats. Ah, I see. Okay, uh huh. So this is this, this is, is the one you had mounted on the back. That's yeah. what the little brackets for. Yes. Okay. What's and that this, one for? This one is a remote mounted. So nobody else is out there selling this thing. What this means is, like, if you have somebody else's iPad uh, system, or you want to give it uh, a, a system, you can put this remotely, give it power and ground, and then we have four wires coming out that will go directly into the Apple Lightning cable. Okay. So that we can do a handshake inside our box here. I see, okay, so this is wired up to the uh, airplane power source. Yes. Battery or, yeah. or alternator or whatever. Yes. Uh, well, which of those two, alternator yeah. or battery? Uh, no, 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 to the, to the right aircraft, to the, uh, to the bus. Okay, to the right bus. to the aircraft bus, okay. Yeah, aircraft bus. And then you'll plug another cord in here and that will come out to be this cord at the end. At the end, yes. So that somebody just riding in the airplane or holding a laptop, holding a iPad or something in their lap, yeah. has a way to get power to it. Yeah, this is really made for for if you have something that needs to stay in the back. If you want to put it in the panel. Ah, I see. Okay. So this this will be this is a panel design. That's so what you you've can, got right here then. So, yeah. So okay. This just comes right out. Okay. Right so you can in. plug a couple of devices in there. Yeah. And okay. they're both 2.1 amp. Dual USB. I was just going to ask because yeah. I know I use iPad products and phones too, and they don't have the same power requirement. That is correct. The so iPad needs a little more juice. Yeah, this iPad, thing thinks that through and gives you the answer. Is that, that right? That is correct. Okay. And, and, and therefore, this is uh, the latest technology where it regulates the amount of power it needs. It knows what it's talking to. Yeah. I see. Okay. Because uh, Apple, with the new specs, they're, they're making it so. It can go from 2.1 amp down to one and a half, down to one, and if it's just staying charged down to 0.5. Amp. Oh, oh, really? Okay. So, so it's actually very. Because okay, so you're not always juicing the thing and going to wear out your battery. Then that is correct. I Apple see. Apple is now regulating there, so it's a very good. Design. So, Ash, now you said this is a product that is not out on the market yet. You're the only ones that have this. This goes behind the panel where nobody can see it, and has this uh, standard type connector to it which this cord plugs into right here, goes into that, 
and then comes out with another source and a direct Apple oh, product Lightning board. cable, yes. Okay. Now, that's behind the panel, but that's what powers these devices. Yes. That are these have these beautiful, nice panel mounts that we looked at earlier. But you can see the way they look in the panel there, folks, that this thing is smooth. Uh, there's no wire showing, but it's going to bring the question up. Well, okay, you told me about this, but... How do how do I get how do I get this cable into there? Okay. So set down your microphone sure. here, and I'll kind of follow along with you while you take one of these out right. for us and All show right. the I magic. All right, I will do that. Sure, sure. So. All right. So Ash is going to pull this one out, pushes up away from the cord, and then you tilt back. Was that what you just yes. did? Yes. It's so the whole thing kind of tilts a little bit and allows you to pull it right out, back up, down, and push it back in. There he goes with the iPhone. Pull it away. Push down on the opposite end. Wow, that's slick. I love that little pivoting action and whatnot. But and then you just shove it back in, and that cable. Oh yeah, oh yeah, there it is. And that cable is clamped into position here, so when you push it back in, it it just it just held it there. And then you can also have an audio cord coming out. That is correct. That routes to your headset. Yes, if you look at this thing here. Beautiful. Oh yeah, I see the see the audio cord in there. Okay, so it all just plugs in when you shove it back in. Slick. Of course, now Apple's going to yeah. change all that on you, so you're going to oh, have yeah, to do yeah, some yeah. new stuff. But, hey, that helps you sell more product, they I guess. Sell more, so. more product. This is a nice package. We see a lot of LSA and, and kit-built airplanes and ultralights now using this because the products, you know, the, the, the various Apple devices yep. cost whatever they cost. But you maybe already have one, yes. which is probably yes, yeah. true in many cases. So yes. you don't, don't really have to invest in that. No. You get some software from one of the many guys that does that. Yes. And then some hardware from you fellows, and you're kind of good to go good for to a go. lot of things. Yes. And uh, you can see here, this is our iPad mini mount. As you can see, we have like the, the same power supply, but in a wing format, where this, as you can see, this is just power and ground that we're using. Okay. You can see the lightning, uh, the Yep, Apple it's charging. charging and everything. That's so it. this is for those that don't want to mount this permanently in the airplane. This all just goes in when you install the uh, the. Yeah. The, uh, unit. So, so yeah, you well, can what do you call the units, the mounting uh, tray? Uh, the, the, uh, these are called the iPad mounts. iPad mounts. Okay, that's iPad pretty mounts. straightforward. Yep. And so then you just uh, hook it up behind the panel. So as you can see, by you hooking this up to the aircraft data bus, these red and black, that's it. That's all you need. Hey, let's talk about the uh, ballpark numbers for what okay. the mounts are, the power sources, and then we'll have a look behind the panel to see what's going on back there. Okay. So our basic, let's start with the Mini, which is kind of our biggest. Uh, That's the big our, seller, is it? Yeah. seller right okay. now, yeah, because of the size. Yeah, it fits uh, a lot of panels. Fits so. a lot of panels. Uh, so you, so this will uh, fit in a standard uh, uh, Mini. So the our price for the Mini is one forty nine. That's the now we're talking the mount here, mount the iPad itself. mount here. Mount okay. itself. All right. So our single power supply is one eighty nine. Okay. And then our Apple Lightning cable is twenty four dollars. Okay, so you're so, in less than four hundred bucks. So four hundred bucks, and, and, so, so and we, you've got everything you need then and, to put it in the panel, except for the labor to actually cut the panel. Yeah. And then we also always sell a package deal. So, like for example, right now the package is three hundred dollars. So you get everything. You oh, get the okay. The Lightning cable, the charger, and the thing. So you're done with less than three hundred dollars. You are completely. Uh, Flying with your iPad. Right now, that will caution everybody that does not include the iPad itself. No, no, no. So not the that iPad. go yes. to Apple to find yeah, out yeah, how yeah, much yeah, that yeah, is, yes. unless you've already got one, in which case yeah. you're good to go. Good to go for about 300 bucks for a package deal. Yes. Okay, those numbers change, so come back to us later. Yes. Let's look behind the panel, though. If you'll, I'll move it. If you'll just kind of tell everybody what's going on back okay. here. So, so one of the things because it's very that we have, interesting. Yeah. So one of the things that we have is, as you can see a little bit, it's a. Uh, there's a fan right here. Yeah, so it's that's the cooling, this is the fan. cooling thing, huh? Okay. And so you can see here is the cooling fans are going here, and I don't know you uh, people in the, can't see it, but as you can see, the air coming off this on the side here. So that. Oh yeah, I can feel the air coming in there. Okay. okay. So so that keeps the airplane, uh, the the iPad uh, cool while you're flying. Yeah, excellent. Because they do get warm when you're constantly charging, as we said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So now. Uh, they would have to buy this as well then. That is correct. Okay, and so what it, and what it, are we looking it, at for that? So anyway, I mean, uh, you can get them anywhere from like eighty dollars. Oh, okay, to, that's uh, uh, that's relatively inexpensive. Re rel they're just regular cooling fans. Okay, uh, they All right. sell them everywhere on Spruce and everybody. So again, we're not talking about a lot of money to have this whole setup. Do have a beautiful glass. And of course, just just as with the guys that sell panel mount 
uh, Avionics hardware, you can update it various update, ways, but update. the Apple products are updated yeah, and, uh, like yeah, continuously almost. Continuously, like, so every year they're coming out with a faster processor, faster, uh, more display, better display. So which is great for us. Yeah. And you as an owner are now not tied to like say a, a product that came out like a G3X or something. Right. You're really locked in. Yeah, yeah you, you spent some real money on it, but and they can update the software, but yep. the hardware they can't really update. They, they well, can't they update. can, but yeah. it'll cost you a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, that's very cool. So all that going on in the back now. Let's say, let's come back to, now I, I want to talk about our category, which is ultralight, light sport, light kit. But if I've got a, let's say a 172, everybody in the world's flown a 172, and I've got a little room there, I could put a panel mount in, and I get rid of some old equipment that's not doing me any good anymore. I go to a, sh a shop. I guess I've got to have a shop do that because right. that's cutting the panel. That probably requires something more than just a home home builder doing it. But I put it in. You've got documentation from FAA that says, yep, you can put this panel mount in, this plastic part. Right. And then FAA is not, in, not involved with what goes into that device right. or into so, that panel. Uh, so they can do all of that, and, and they're only in about $400 or so, too, even with the cooling fan. That is correct. So if you, if you go to our website... Uh, guardianavionics.com so we have a couple of things one is that uh, the reference to a non-essential equipment ah, installation okay. that's and how then, they call that okay yeah and then there's another uh, thing with the FAA had routed it's a it was an article done uh, by a, a, another uh, writer about that installation Ah, okay and, uh, and this is on your design, website on our website okay also, great great so that how you can sign it off you know uh, okay. exactly the wording to use because this is considered non-essential equipment right because you're not in a beautiful. Primary. Well, that gets those guys in the 21st century a little 21st bit. 21st century. I think now the more and more of the FAA is opening up a little bit better. You it know. seems like it. Yeah. Okay, now let's talk about our already 21st century airplanes: yeah. ultralights, light kits, light sport. Yep. Light sport. The manufacturer has to give some blessing to this, but it's a piece of plastic in the panel. That's. Yep. They don't have to really test anything. No, no, no. And the plastic is an ABS high temperature plastic. Oh, okay. So, so I mean, that's what we so use. So you, it. again, could provide some documentation. Documentation. Because the manufacturer has the responsibility there. That is that correct. That FAA gives them and says, you have to make sure that's not going to cause a problem. That is correct. You can help them assure that. Yes. And then FAA will go, yeah, okay, we've done. you've done your work on it. But now if I'm a light kit or an ultralight, I can do anything I want. That is so correct. So I can just put this stuff in and you've got the hardware for them. That is correct. Excellent stuff. All right, folks, that's a lot of good information. We'll have you repeat the uh, web address again for us. But uh, to get more information, I think we've given you a lot of it here. But to get even more, tell us the address again. Okay, it's guardianavionics.com. Okay. That's guardianavionics. And I really want to uh, thank you, for Don, for giving me the opportunity. Well, sure, we're glad to. No, no, I think no, our, we really do. I we're think really our readers, will, our viewers will really like this, but you can get lots more about Guardian. Yeah. We've done some stuff with them before. They have other products than this, too, by the way. And uh, you can find all that and lots of affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Ash and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh. Thank you, Don. Thank you.